What's up, we Deemers? Sal here, and today we're taking a look at the Easy SMX Wireless Pro Controller and why you might want to buy one of these over Nintendo's official Pro Controller. Shh. Come closer. Just a little secret, Easy SMX sent me this. Let's be honest, playing with the Joy-Cons while docked isn't the greatest experience. Before you spam the comments, which is more than likely gonna happen regardless of what I say here, I know that's not the freaking official dock, and if you must know what happened, cat pissed on it. Either way, it doesn't get any better with one of these. Easy SMX sent me over the slick matte black one, but there is also a white, a paint splattered theme one, and this Phoenix one that takes up most of the box, which opening the box and not being greeted with the cool looking Phoenix one is like a kick in the balls. The Easy SMX on its face is similar to the Switch Pro Controller, but there is something that sets it aside from the official Pro Controller that just might convince you to pick this one over the official Pro Controller, and we're gonna get into that later, so stick with me. This controller feels a lot lighter than the Pro. Overall, the Switch Pro feels more comfortable to hold, which has a lot to do with the shape and the angle of the handles. The action buttons feel pretty good and have a nice click. Four action buttons have a game survive. You might be asking yourself, what does this dummy mean by game survives? They light up in the traditional Xbox four color scheme, just like the game sir controllers. The start, select, capture, and home buttons on the easy SMX are okay, but Personally, I like the ones on the Pro Controller better. The SMX controller has dome buttons, which are pretty flush with the controller housing with a glossy finish, whereas the Switch Pro are flat with an indented symbol, which I found to provide some finger grip. Now here's the first thing that the Easy MX has over the official Pro Controller. If you hold one of the action buttons and the capture button, you activate the turbo button, which is indicated by the solid eight lights on the front of the controller. All right, let's stop this dummy right there before he confuses all of you. First off, when activating the turbo button, not all eight lights will flash, just two buttons. Secondly, if you're on the Nintendo Switch, in order to make the capture button the turbo button, you have to click the right stick and the capture button, and that will turn it into the turbo button. Then you can set your turbo. Please, dummy, continue. The D-pad, a tool needed to kick in Mortal Kombat, well, worked okay. But if I had to be completely honest, and I will, I wasn't fond of it. The D-pad is something I think Nintendo has always done pretty well. The Switch Pro D-pad is firm, has low travel, nice click, and keeps your thumbs planted. The D-pad on the Easy SMX has a really harsh click in the center. The gloss finish is very slippery, and unfortunately, it travels all the way down to the housing with no clear feel of an end. While testing the analog sticks, I was murking motherfuckers in Doom 2016, taking them the f down in multiplayer, and nobody can touch this guy. That's how per That's how precise the analog sticks are on this controller. The analog sticks felt pretty solid, quick kick back to the center, fluid movement, accurate tracking, and didn't notice any drift, which seems to be an issue with the official Joy-Cons, but not the official Pro Controller. There was one issue I noticed. Often found my thumbs slipping and didn't feel planted. The indents on the top of the stick isn't as deep as the ones on the official Pro Controller, which keeps your thumbs pretty center. And here's the only fix that I could think of. Thumbstick covers. Eh, it got the job done. Hey! Moving to the top of the controller, the bumpers have a short travel and a nice click. The triggers come short of being the amazing analog triggers on the Xbox controller, and it was either on or off. It also felt like it didn't activate until the button was pressed halfway down, so 
It's a no-go for games like Need for Speed and Forza if you're looking for precise control over speed. Let's reveal the back of the controller and see why you might pick this over the Pro Controller, and that's the four programmable buttons. By default, these buttons are set to the four action buttons on the front, but you can reprogram them by pressing one of the back buttons and the minus button. All four lights will stay lit, then hold the combination of the keys you want to be part of the macro and click the same button. You're not gonna trick your friends into thinking you're a skilled finisher in Mortal Kombat with this method. You can only program a combination of two buttons and those two buttons have to already work in combination with each other, such as L1 and R1. However, before you count this little guy out, there is another method. Press any one of the macro buttons on the back of the controller in combination with the start, which in the Switch world is known as the plus button. All lights go solid. Click a combination of buttons and then hit that same macro button to complete the programming. Just an FYI, this is gonna get extremely frustrating as it did for me and it took me several tries to get it right because you have to be extremely fast because it's time sensitive. And one other thing to note, the macro buttons are kind of in an awkward position on the controller. You almost click them with the side of your finger, which after a while does become a little uncomfortable because uh, this controller really is an ergonomic. One of my favorite things next to testing hardware is testing accessories, especially controllers. And the EZMX is worth a look if you're looking for an affordable second switch controller that has programmable buttons. However, keep your expectations in check and you won't be disappointed. If you bring this guy home and you expect Nintendo Switch Pro controller quality, you're gonna feel like, well, you got a swift kick in the nether regions. If you have any questions, as always, leave those down below. And don't forget to check out the Weedeen Gaming Community Facebook group. Gloop. Let's try that one more time. And don't forget to check out the We Deem Gaming Community Facebook group for exclusive unboxings, DIY projects, and for other cool gaming sh**. We are also on Twitter and Instagram at Weedeen Gaming. In the next video, I'm excited to show you what's in my Steam Deck travel bag. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. I hope, I hope Bowser's having a great time getting shoved into your pants. He is. I guarantee he is. It's recording. He's getting shoved into your boxes. Like, I'm pretty sure. I don't think, I think Bowser's a minor, isn't he? It's my sport cup. <laughs> Manda's up there, she can hear me. Watch him grip the balls. Oh well. Might as well have just used the diaper. Nathan. Maybe. I don't know. But it does feel like I have a saggy diaper, or like I took a <laughs> diaper. <laughs> I f***ed it up. <laughs> I f***ed it up. Yeah, you're supposed to not give it a no sh it's not easy. You ever had somebody run at you trying to kick you in the nuts and you know about it? <laughs> I braced myself. <laughs> yeah. Good job. That's a blooper. You lost your foot again. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> what the f you doing? I'm looking for your cue. Oh. Damn. <laughs> we'll just do a couple of them and I'll pick one. Don't punch me. Look at that weird idea. Why? Oh, we're getting serious now. I'm gonna choke the f out of here. What the hell out here? Yeah, they came up to me and they were like, hey, you want, you want a quick butt? And I was like, yeah, you got beef jerky. <laughs> um, and, you know, they got the job. They treat me nice. They treat me nice. They got, they got the tiny bag stuff. Seven dollars. <laughs> I don't know what the f I'm talking about. <laughs> the f beef jerky. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> it sounds good. Now stop getting out of character. <laughs> they treat me nice. <laughs> guys instead of staring at my ugly mug why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos one two i'll wait my busted face ain't going nowhere